Hello, this is Joseph Bales from josephbales.com, and this is my introduction to Ubuntu Linux. Ubuntu is a free operating system that uh, is a drop-in replacement for Windows. I believe they also have a version that will run on Macintosh, Apple Macintosh computers. What you're seeing here is the login screen, so let me go ahead and log in. This is a security feature, and if it's not necessary to you, then uh, you do not need to uh, worry about it. You can override that. So here's my Ubuntu desktop. It's uh, very similar to Windows. You have uh, panels here, what they call panels, that uh, it's kind of like your start menu and your taskbar. You can configure this however you want it. It doesn't have to look like this. It can be at the top, it can be at the bottom, on the sides, wherever. Uh, here's your application list. It has uh, hundreds of applications, thousands of applications to choose from. These are just the ones that I happen to like. Uh, the ones that come uh, auto-installed with it are usually the best ones, and that's mostly what I have on here right now. Uh, this right here is a list of all of your folders and places, network, recently used documents, things like that. You can uh, put your most used folders and documents up here in this top area, which is a neat feature. This is your control panel equivalent. Uh, you can set all of your preferences here, uh, your personal information, screen savers, themes, desktop, backgrounds, all kinds of stuff. Uh, here's your administration list. This is where you do all the high-end administration type things that most people really don't need to worry about. Uh, also up here in this panel I have some frequently used applications such as my web browser. That's uh, Firefox. And here's my Google homepage. It looks pretty neat. Uh, up here are some more things, the time and day, a little calendar, uh, volume control, weather, and all that stuff is customizable. Uh, down here at this bottom panel I use just as a, a taskbar. Uh, you can see the applications, they show up when you uh, open them down here. Uh, you can see that I have desktop in effects enabled and that causes these windows to wobble, which is a pretty neat piece of eye candy. Uh, you can resize these windows just like you can in windows. Let me open up a couple more here. And there we go. So now I have three. You can switch between the applications. Uh, again, I have desktop and effects enabled, so we get some pretty neat eye candy going on here. Uh, you can also go up here to the top and click, and you can see all of your applications that you have open. You can click on the one you want to use, and it puts everything back. Uh, you can also use multiple desktops, and uh, multiple desktops allow you to open a vast number of programs at one time and uh, neatly organize them on whatever desktop you want to. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, let me open a video for you. You can see videos playing. And we got Triumph, the comic insult dog. And uh, I'll turn the volume down so it won't disrupt me while I'm talking. And you, again, you can see that the video is playing and it's having all these weird effects. And you can move the thing around and the video is still playing. And you can move it over here to where it's half on one screen and half on the other and it's still playing so that's pretty cool and uh, this is the task manager right here the, I'm sorry the file manager and this is where all your files are kept kinda like the Windows Explorer okay I'm gonna open up a DVD video here of my favorite TV hero. And give it a second to load. It's MacGyver. And 
I'll turn it down a little bit more and I'll make it full screen and you'll notice we can still use the desktop effects even with that playing full screen I think that's pretty cool so enough of that we also have a program called OpenOffice.org on here, and I've taken the liberty of creating a spreadsheet in OpenOffice.org. Uh, OpenOffice is a replacement for Microsoft Office. It works very similar to the way Microsoft Office works. Here's a spreadsheet that's got my budget on it. And by the way, you can also get this budget uh, template uh, on my website, josephbales.com slash financials. And it has all this cool information and charts about how I'm spending my money. Close that out. And uh, no, I don't want to save it. What else? We've got all kinds of applications here. Uh, you can install whatever you want to. Here's games, graphics programs, internet programs, the office programs, uh, sound and video, music players, uh, system tools for adding even more applications. It's a really neat operating system and it's come a long way in just a very short time and it's very usable. I use it on a day-to-day -day basis on this computer and also on my uh, laptop computer. I am completely Windows free. And uh, so I, I hope that you have enjoyed this little look into the world of Ubuntu. And I hope that you uh, get a chance to install it and uh, play with some of these neat features. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you.